Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crypto Cine here. Today we're going to talk about why 2018 will be a great year for cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. So, first of all, it's now six days or seven days from the end of 2017, and I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But if we'll take a look at the market capitalization of January 2017 and December 2017. The market capitalization of January was around 16 to 17 um, billion. Now it's around 547 billion, so that's a factor of around 34 or 40, 35, I think. So that's a huge increase. Obviously, we can see that the most of this increase came from uh, the last chapter of November, so around October to December. So it's only just at the start, in my opinion. So this came because cryptocurrencies became popularity in the news, uh, especially Bitcoin was in the news, then Bitcoin futures launched. And yeah, this is where we can see in January 2016, it all started out with around eight hundred eighty dollars, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. We went there all the way up pretty pretty fast, and then November from six thousand five hundred to around nineteen point five k. So it all started out in January. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I said January 2016, obviously January 2017. Uh, one of the reasons why Bitcoin broke out that high was the Bitcoin halving. So if you take a look at this chart, this is why Bitcoin in the long term is one of the best investments you can make. This is because Bitcoin has a limited supply of uh, 21 million and they have to get mined. But the reward for mining is getting halved every uh, roughly four years, I think. So if we take a look at it, in the year uh, 2009, when Bitcoin established, there were uh, 2.6 million Bitcoin mined. And one and the Bitcoin reward for a block was 50. This went up to 2013. There were 10.5 million Bitcoin mined, and then we had the Bitcoin halfening of 25 uh, a block. And then in 2016, oh sorry, then in 2016, we had another halving, I think around December, like I said, and in January 2017, then Bitcoin really broke out, the halfening to 12.5. Uh, How we can see, um, from this moment on, we will only mine around uh, 700,000 Bitcoin per year. So only 4% when it goes down all the way of the 21 million Bitcoin there is. So this is why I'm so bullish on Bitcoin in the long term. Because the demand gets only higher and higher because Bitcoins are harder to get every, every single year. Up to the moment where... I think it's around, it's it's just an exponential function. I think we have a picture right in the middle of it. Yeah, you can see this right here. So it's just an exponential function where a block reward gets halved every uh, four years. And this is why Bitcoin is so hard to get in a few years. So if you take a look at the chart from Bitcoin actually, um, we can see that we made an all-time high in 2017. I think this was not change of around uh, 20k. And then we had this huge pullback all the way to around uh, 11k. So around a 50% decrease in in a time of... So around a 50% decrease in a week. So all the people... Well, most of the people are saying Bitcoin is such an easy investment. You just buy and you make money every single day. Well, that's not the case for people who bought at the top because now, in a few days, their money just got cut in half. You know, it's really not that easy to make money. 
So if you take a look at the price prediction of 2018, if you actually go to the monthly, we can see that uh, this candle is very, very huge. So this is a huge stick. It's, and now we are around uh, 14K again. So if we take a look here, this is where 2018 will start and this is where 2019 will end. We can see uh, awesome high of 20,000 and then huge pullback to 11,000. Now it's around 40k again. So if Bitcoin had huge increases and decreases over the year again and again, you can see this really great here. It was around 3,000, went down to 2,000, went up again, 4,500. 3,000 went up again, 7,000 to 5,500. So Bitcoin has these decreases and increases uh, over the year all the time. If we take a look at it, so the next goal would be uh, technically 35,000, so around here. So this would be the next goal, and then we'll see what's going to happen. So if we take a look at this, the pullback and the increase is not that big and what i think will happen is that the bitcoin pattern of this right here will continue to happen over and over so if we take a look at this 2019 let's say uh, uh start 2018 we're around 15k the thing is we'll look like this so we'll go up we'll go down we'll go up we'll go down we'll go up and then we're at 35k. So this is what I'm estimating for the end of 2019 would be around 35k. Obviously, it could go much higher because nobody knows what's happening. Nobody would expect Bitcoin to reach 5,000 this year. But I think we will definitely see uh, 35k in 2018, and from then on we will have to. Look what's going to happen. Next goal would be around 50,000. So probably again, you know, something like this and then maybe a huge pullback. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're as bullish on Bitcoin as me. Uh, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comments. Any like is appreciated. Thanks for watching.